have a son. Okay. How would you feel if your son came home with a full uh, idea? Full idea, I might agree. I might be, I might be, I might agree. But Yoruba, I'll disown him. You I'll disown, disown him. your son if he marries yeah. a girl. I was indifferent Why? until the last elections. Because um, I wouldn't want any of my grandchildren to be a victim of what happened to a Yoruba son whom his mother was Igbo. Um, I think if we were to be honest with one another, I think what happened to GRV, because I let, let, let's not fool ourselves, it's obvious you are talking about um, yeah. GRV. Uh, I think what happened to GRV was a re- I want to look for the right word was a um a boomerang of a tribal set yeah. election system um they were playing with tribes right from po from pitobi the tribe card was on the table when it got to grv it flipped it was the same tribe card don't you think it would do your son and my son and my daughters a world of good if we detribalize them instead of further tribalizing them. <laughs> let me tell you. Let me let me say something. Right? Everybody that knew me from from the very onset knew that I was uh, someone who doesn't. I don't really even believe. I'm. A, I, I, I used to be of the opinion that state of origins have to be taken out from our constitution. Because I believe that that, that is mm. the only way Nigeria will get it right. You take out of state of origin from the constitution, any place, any place anybody lives is where he's from. You get. But not until the last election, I realized that there are people who are judged differently, wrongly, just because one of their parents are of a different tribe. And they feel to be less from the other tribe. And if that happens, if that's happening, I don't see any reason why I should let my grandchildren go through the same madness. I want to protect my grandchildren. I used to have an, I used to have an uncle, my late uncle, actually went to church. Let me, uh, John, sorry, sorry, let me, let me cut you a bit. Don't be upset. Do you realize that the say you have over your children getting married. No, it's 100%. Is Mine is 100%. In my family, it's 100%. In my family, it's 100%. No. In my family, it's 100%. Children, no. In my family, it's 100%. In, if, I, if, if my dad tells me who to marry and I refuse, if, if I want to marry someone and my dad says I won't marry that person, I, there's nothing There's nothing I can do. Same as same will apply to my kids. But do you think GRV actually yes, he lost, lost he the lost election? election Hold on. Do you think he lost the of the, the because of competency? Let, let me take that again. Do you think he lost the election just because of tribal sentiments or because of you know, competence related there, sentiments? If let's they had not played that tribal about, card, GRV would have still lost the election. But would have light with a little margin my anger is not because the card was played my anger is because the card was bought Explain it's one thing for them, so, some, some people to come up it's one thing for a group of five people to play a card it's another thing for a whole populace to buy the card you need to understand that human beings are sentimental can you use the word, creatures. Can you use the word that human beings are tribalistic creatures? No, this is not sentiment. This is tribalism. No. Listen, let's start with sentiment. Eh? I agree what you're saying, but when I say human beings are sentimental 
creatures what i mean is you can use any sentiment mm -hmm. on them you can use the religion sentiment you can use the sentiment remember what happened to tinubu when he announced that he was running with a muslim that muslim muslim ticket took a blow at mm -hmm. apc mm -hmm. you, you can mm -hmm. witness with it. same same thing with um tribalism we learned i remember even me we're having the debate on my on my live um uh who who, who uh where's lagos i forgot how it was um lagos is yoruba land and uh we're arguing we're back and forth and before he knew it even i was labeled a bigot simply because i was talking about the origin the geographical and historical origin of lagos you you see sentiments are very easy to whip up human beings and by the time you whip them up it's like a i know you you you, you did physics it's like a nuclear core that has become unstable there's nothing you can do again it must Once disintegrate the, until it gains the level core, of stability that's radioactivity once it goes beyond a certain level you cannot stop it and that's what happened in this particular um, election. And it's a lesson we should all learn. From every scenario in life, I would say, I understand where you are coming from, and I understand this, and I was totally against it. I, I felt, and I said it all the time, that GRV has the right to vote, has the right to become governor. My only problem with him, in my opinion, was compared to the people on the ground, he looked to me like the least competent, to me. Uh, compared to Songolu, compared to Doherty, and compared to even uh, the guy from PDP, what's Jandor. his name? Uh, Jandor. So, so to me, he was a good guy. I liked his vibe, I liked his youthfulness. I, I interviewed him. Um, but this is a very tight knit election. Yes, at the end of the day, the tribal card worked. Again. But for me, what worked against him the most was his lack of experience. And his, he had fantastic educational standards and qualifications. But you see, Nigeria has a way of being. Uh, somebody said, um, that I was talking. That you just, you mind, just you said that. I, I, I told me that, look, you think being governor of Lagos State is, is easy, that you are not going to sleep for four years. You are going to be on your feet. As in, that some people that think that is a joke can actually yes. wake up one day and pull a gun to their own but, heads. You know, talking about that experience, um, you know, we that have worked in, we, most of us that have worked in the um, in industries know that experience counts, but experience is not everything. I've, I've recruited fresh graduates whom come in, and in two years, they become more experienced than people that have spent 10 years. If you are going to judge by that, mm. are you not going to preferably take that fresh graduate that in two years is going to be more experienced than someone that has spent 10 years? Experience, you, you, they, nobody, nobody is born with experience. People, people, people attain that level of experience. So why don't you let other people attain that level of experience so that you have an experienced population of so many people who can do it? Sticking, basic, 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 basing mm. that on experiences, I don't think it's 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 right. But I believe that even if the election was so okay, free and fair without this tribal card being played, I believe someone would have still won the election because someone who looks, someone is a gentleman. In all ramification, the fact that he has godfathers is his business. But someone who looks like a very, very gentle man, someone who wants to get things done rightly, you get. But that tribal card, my problem is not that it was play, it was played. No, my problem is that it was buff. And let me tell you something that the phrase: any the people that play that tribal card yeah. have no interest of Lagos at heart, anyway, in any way, because I can tell you confidently that. About two million dollars that were supposed to go into Lagos in the past one week that I know of have left Lagos. Um, I also know of about 
a couple of billions that are being brought into Lagos. So, so you, you see what? No, the no, no, no. Yeah, but, 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 but don't get, don't, and, don't forget and, something like this. They were not brought into Lagos because of a tribal card. So that two million is a loss already. That's how, mm. business, that's how businessmen look at it. Don't, regardless, without the tribal card, the two billion mm. you are talking about would have still come. So it would have been two billion, two million. Yes. Now, now, I, I, I want us to, I want us to, to, to focus on something. Um, you're angry, and I understand your anger. And in everything you've said today, you have shown, um, you have shown that your decisions are not impulsive, but rather properly thought through. Can we, can we, instead of disowning our children for marrying another tribe, can we put it upon ourselves? Because listen, yeah. There will always be these sentiments. Today it was GRV. Tomorrow it will be Dayo Ikechuku, whose mother is Yoruba, but father is from Anambra. And he is qualified for a position in Anambra State. But because his name is Dayo, <clears throat> and because his mother is Yoruba, he will lose that opportunity. So why don't we diffuse the situation? Pastor Toby Adegoega in the building, big shout out to Olua Toby Um Why don't we diffuse the situation? Why don't we take it upon you and I to create the Nigeria we oh, want? My yeah. wife is Ibu. Really? My, my son is Ibu. My son is My son is exactly like GRV. His mother's name is Nke. His mother's name is Nke Mdilim. He is ex he's a Yoruba boy born to an Igbo mother. And his Yoruba is just like, like GRV's Yoruba. He cannot speak Yoruba well. Most of our children, except you raise them with strict um, cultural mm -hmm. interferences, spend, most of them can spend more time with their mothers. Yoruba. That's why it's called mother tongue. Eh, no, but I, still, they I don't mean, still pick it. They don't pick it. Till don't really pick Nigerian. Like, your... I speak fluent speak Igbo. Igbo. I know you speak Igbo. I speak. I, I, I speak Igbo. I think in. I, I don't usually think in English. I think in Pidgin and Yoruba and translates to English. So sometimes my choice of words, I'll make some sentences. You know that this sentence came from Yoruba translation or Pidgin translation. So. How do we create an opportunity for my own son? Where, what GRV faced, he will not face. Instead of embellishing what GRV faced and making it an issue so that 20, my son cannot be governor for another 20 years. He's eight years old. The earliest he can run for political office is maybe when he's like 28. No matter how quick they evolve in their in this new generation, so we have twenty years to either make this worse or make this better. Okay, first and foremost, first and foremost, there's no way we can so make it better with the light of this Gabzula that is on your life. The guy has been writing. The guy has been writing a lot. Wait, no, please leave him. Don't don't remove him. Don't remove him. Don't let remove him. Please don't remove <laughs> him. He needs to learn. He needs to learn. Don't remove him. Remove. I'm going to give you this as a last please, warning. Please. I will remind you if you make any more ethnic uh, comments that we are trying to, you can see that John and I are on two different sides of defense. But we are trying to mend defense so that we can have a conversation. It will be, it will be unfair for you to pour fire where you are supposed to be pouring water. So let this stand as your last warning I will remove you. Now, what do you think the way forward is for people to understand 
that, for example, me, I am of the point of view, I'm of the opinion that Lagos is for Lagosians. If you're not an indigenous of Lagos states, the rights you who is from Ekiti state and the rights the man from Katina state have are the same because you're both visitors. If we need to adopt this, this state of origin, Lagos, Lagos is for Lagosians. The fact that Lagosians are Yoruba people does not make every Yoruba own Lagos. And a kitty man has the same rights as me and an Anambra man, as the Borno man. The Lagosian, the whatever. I, I, I believe that I have the same rights okay. in Lagos as an Anambra man. But I, I cannot come and be dragging rights a Fusho Williams in Lagos. No. Just like I cannot be all near of Ife. Neither can I be a lackey of Abe Okuta. Because I, I am Yoruba does not mean I'm from Abe Okuta. That's it. And there are little problems of tribalism even between the Abe Okutas and the Oshuns and the Ibadans and the Oyos. So when I came and said Lagos is Yoruba land does not mean it, it is, is my it land. It belongs to Lagosians who, who speak Yoruba because my land it's just like saying a emo is Igbo land. And Does not mean an Ambra be, man can yeah, be doing there, anyhow. Be doing anyhow. So I have the exact right in Lagos as a Hausa man from Kaduna, an ethnic girl like Ada from Cross River, or John Manambra. from Imo, if I'm correct. From Anambra, oh, my wife's brother. So, so we are on the same spot now. Now, how do we embellish this in such a way that people... Because once you play the tribal card, you don't know how far it's going to go. The tribal card that was played during the election, you don't know how far it's going to go. You don't know how... It, like you said, Lagos lost revenue. Now... You don't know. The other day I saw a video of Igbo women apologizing to the Yorubas. You don't know how far the Yorubas no. also want to take the no, other. Oh, you don't think you can come no, no, like women don't speak for the Igbos. We've got because we cannot you cannot you cannot we cannot men you cannot you cannot wrong us and we apologize, you know. Don't speak for the Igbos. We are the ones that do. That well, it's just one woman. That woman. That woman. That woman. That woman probably is one woman that flies a car in a That's her business. You can't, can't wrong us and we apologize. We didn't wrong anybody. We didn't wrong anybody. Now, now, those. Do you think, John? Those pushing the agenda of Lagos is no man's land. Do you think these people were part of that what should, created let's tell the origin of Lagos being no man's land? It was yes. Lati Jack and Day of blessed memory that first used that phrase, Lagos is a no man's land. Because he wanted to attract investors into it, the Lagos he was striving hard to build. Lati Jack and Day mm. of blessed memory was the first person who used Lagos, saying that Lagos is a no man's land. You understand? So, so, and, mm. and, and when you when we talk about I, the cultures of a place, not until a foreigner becomes your traditional ruler, then your culture is being stolen. Governors, governors, house of mm. governors are administrative rulers. A non-Lagosian can never be above Lagos. It's not possible. It can never happen because those are custodian of the culture of the culture of the Lagosians. But administrative offices are just administrative offices. Regardless, there's no, no, if any evil person that wants to be governor of Lagos is his business. I will not leave an umbrella and come to um, Lagos. I want to be governor of Lagos State. But Latin Jacobi was the first person that used that phrase. And I have asked, I, have, I challenge anybody that can bring any video of an evil man prior to this election saying that Lagos is a no man's land. I will give that person one million naira. There was no such video. Mm. That was propaganda mm. in an office and spread. And let me tell you something. Tinubu used Lagos being a no man's land in, 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 when he won his second tenure. 
because he was the only person in the Southwest that retained his seat as governor. He used Lagos being a no man's land to get the votes of the Igbos. You cannot play this card when it favors you and play it again to to when 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 you want to use it against another person. It's a it's it's but that, yeah, but that's politics. But it's dirty politics. That is... Let's not different. Let's learn how to differentiate between politics and dirty politics. Politics that is built on the blood of people is not is no longer politics. People died for it. Mm. People shed blood for it. Mm. It's, it's not longer politics. It's no longer mm. politics. I get you. I get you, bro. I get you, bro. And um. I'm trying to bring in a, a couple of other people so we can um, we can have this conversation. Guys, I, I've noticed that when it comes to heated topics like this, you only have two people request and those people are afraid. Um, let's not be afraid. We're not fighting. We're discussing. You don't need to agree or disagree with us. All you need to do is Take part in the conversation and let us speak. Uh, let, let us see what you're bringing to the table. Um, Hola, thank you. Hi, good, good evening. Hi, everyone. Um, good evening. Good evening, Daddy Freeze. Thank you for um, bringing me on. Um, all I want to say about the okay. election thing is trying to refer to is that um, the tribal thing was not the issue. Most of the issue or the problem is what GRV was saying. See, to, to go into governance is not something you, you plan within a day. You must have, have an intention for it and compose yourself in the public. But this guy has said a lot of things that later played, that later put him in this um, situation. So don't think, and Again, you said um, no Igbo was saying Lagos is no man's land. I won't agree to that. It's not just now. This that people have been saying this for a very long time. It's not like something that just happened. It just come up during the election now. It's things people have been saying for a long time. And you mentioned Jack on Day. In what context did Jack on Day say um, what said um, Lagos was no man's the, the land? Protest of bringing in investors. Investors. Yeah. Well, was this saying it re relating to politics? So no, no. please, let the no, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, public. excuse me, excuse me. The Igbos that were the Igbos that you claim were saying Lagos is in no man's land. Were they I didn't say the Igbos were no. saying that. I'm just saying. Okay, okay, fine. You're just I saying. Okay, say the Igbos. people that you say Igbos, the people that you say they were saying Lagos is in no man's land, was it, were they saying it relating to politics? We're just saying we can be governor because Lagos is a no man's land. Let's, anyway, I wouldn't let's, know. Let's, let's, but... let's, listen, 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 guys, listen, listen. Madam, can I ask you a question? Sorry, I'm, I, I don't. I, if you, well, if, you are if, very if you, free to do that. If, if you feel it's disrespectful, you can you can choose not to answer. Where are you from? I'm from Lagos State. You're from Lagos. But that would be. What's the son? Yeah. What's I just say. I just say. Okay, you're from Lagos State. You're from Lagos State, Gong Gong. You're sure? I'm from Badagri, Lagos State. Okay, you're from Badagri. Okay, fine. Yeah. Do you believe that Lagos is for Lagosians or Lagos is for the Yorubas? Lagos is for Lagosians, not for the Yorubas. Everybody knows their states in Nigeria. So. so, so, so why, why did you, why did we now choose to profile? And you're profiling a certain visitors. Like I told you, the GRV of a guy has said a lot of things in the past that later played back on him. Not, and it happened this way because it could happen to anyone. That's Madam, why if you want to go into governance what, or we're anything. We're not discussing politics today. GRV losing that's what the I'm saying. I was business. even telling you, I was the typing that we said GRV, there won't GRV, be GRV losing the election is not my business. What is my business is the tribalism that occurred during the process. That is the tribalism we're talking about. Let me tell you something if Labour Party had brought another um candidate who had not said all those things this guy had been saying in the past, probably they would have had an upper hand. Maybe Madam, not. Let's, win, about, let's forget about Jerry now. Too. Let's forget about Jerry now. Let's forget about Jerry now. I'm saying that his question. Ebos, we are shot at. Ebos, we are stabbed. 
Igbos were intimidated. Igbos were treated like animals in their own country. It's not about just. I get that. that that's not, I won't support that because majority of my friends, they are Igbos. I, 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 I roll more with Igbos than even the Yorubas. So that's one thing you should know because we Yorubas are very accommodating and you can testify to that, that compared to the other part of the that world, uh, other parts of Nigeria. That's you can testify to Yorubas. They are welcoming. You can't argue they're... that. Bro, no, so, but no, no, nobody's arguing it. Mm -hmm. Nobody's yeah. arguing it. Nobody's arguing it. But the fact still remains that your visitors in Igbo land, there's a saying, I'm, I'm a chief in Igbo land. There's a saying that your visitors are more important than your indigenous. That is why the blood of a visitor is not spelt. The blood of a messenger is not spelt in Igbo land. If you do that, you have to cleanse that land. Your, your visitors, the blood of your visitors was spelt in your land. And you have not said anything about it. And you're telling me let not go that route oh, no. again just as you have said because majority oh. of um you people started oh. this thing so Madam. let's forget about that madam wait madam wait john yeah um there were pockets of violence during the but no no and no some people have been confirmed their lives one sixty eight year old man was shot in a papa he died that day. Oh. Seven, is seven, this confirmed seven. or this is oh. okay? So um let's also hear from this young man who's here with us in uh, uh that is please good evening, sir. Yes, good evening, brother. But what um, is your view? I think if if you really watch the election, I'm in America, so I am not in Nigeria, but I was watching the news, you will see that the propaganda starts from Labour Party, not the the the, the Yorubas that uh APC, they are very, very quiet. I'm a Lagosian, I don't support Tunobu. I'm a I'm an Awori. I'm a Awori, I'm a son of I'm a son of the soil. I don't support Tunobu, but because of this I have to support him. Yeah, same here. Because why I don't support Tunubu? Tunubu doesn't, since, since my state has given Tunubu opportunity to become governor, he never allowed anybody from my state, from any indigenous from Lagos state, to become even governor or speaker. The only time we have a vice, a vice um, governor was during the first time of Tunubu, and since then, no more, no more indigenous of Lagos state. So that's why I don't support Tunubu. But because of this tribalism that um, Labour Party bring in, oh, I have please, to go with it. Can you can you give me can you tell me the tribalistic thing they put? Be specific. Can't you see when you just mention when you just mention that um, Tunubu, you see if, uh, the way people will be insulting you, will be cursing you. Do you I say really, bro? What is going on, bro? Even bro, um, bro, CBN governor bro, even have to bring bro, policy that, bro. Well, really. Bro. Bro, bro, okay. let me tell you something. Let me, let me tell you something. Huh? People are not cursing you because Tinubu is a Yoruba man. Stop that. Okay. Let's be honest. This is what okay. they have fed you. And it, it's they fed they fed, it's not they fed. fed the youths. They fed the youths their opium and their high on it. It's not fed. Nobody was cursing hey. you. Nobody was cursing you because Tinubu is a Yoruba man. Remember, remember that during Obasanjo's first tenure, when Obasanjo came out to contest for, for president. Bulk of his votes came from the same southeast. Nobody cursed him because he supported the Bosanjo because they felt uh -huh. the Bosanjo was a good man. Hmm? Okay, remember that that the Bosanjo came out, he was just fresh out of prison and was uh -huh. supported like that. The West even supported Ulfalae, but not the Bosanjo. But yes. Bosanjo won. You remember, right? So, nobody yes. is saying if if APC had brought. Osibanjo, nobody will tell you not to support Osibanjo. So the opium they fed you with is that they are not supporting Tinubu because it's Yoruba. Nobody, I don't care if you like bring someone from Togo to be president of Nigeria. Give me rural, good roads, electricity, and security. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. Okay, okay. Let me let me let me just tell you. 
the what the what the Igbo that my friends doesn't know that you yourself don't know that Lagos has benefited you more than you have contributed to Lagos, bro. Bro, I've not made a comeback from Lagos. Okay, you maybe you do, maybe you. I have not made a comeback you, from Lagos. Maybe you can't if you can't top if you can't top five top five of your rich men. They made their billions in Lagos. So what made top five of what, 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 Why do you think they made their billions in Lagos? No, I'm, I'm not. I'm just telling you. Why, we don't need. Why do you think they made their billions in Lagos? We don't, we, we don't want to go into that. No, 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 We don't want no, to. Go no, into no, 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 no. I'm just telling no. you how. Bro, 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 bro. Let's have this conversation. Why do you think they made their billions in Lagos? Because of the population in Lagos. Excuse me, sir. Excuse it's me, sir. It's a land of opportunity for everybody. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Lagos is land of opportunity because of the 20 million people living in Lagos. Uh huh. And that 20 million people living in Lagos are not just Yorubas. They are everybody. Yes. Yeah. Because we are accommodative, yes. It, okay, if it, okay, if you can you please stop being accommodative and let that 20 million people move to somewhere else. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be the one to. I'm not going. No, to really, like that. seriously. What, what? What are you talking if about? If you want to go back, you can go back. But I'm not gonna be the bro, one to say that. Bro, we bro, love everybody. Bro, we I love everybody. We want to be your friends. Most of my friends are evil. So, when I want to make so, so please stop saying that. Stop saying that Lagos has made people more than they have made Lagos. No. Yes. No. Yes. Because no. No, it's part don't of listen. your saying. It's bro, wait, bro, wait, it's part of listen. wait. It's part of your saying. You you even say it this night that um uh, twenty two two billions have left Lagos. Why are you saying that? Lagos, do you know how many? I mean, you know why I'm saying that? Where, bro, where do you live? Where do you live? Where do you live? I'm, uh, in Indianapolis. Indianapolis. Live right in now. the United States of America. Let yeah. me tell you how the United States of America plays its politics. Every state is concerned about what to do to attract people migration into their states okay that's all that's the business of america okay the state of texas is making policies that will make people want to live in texas the state of california is making policies that make people and you are living in america benefiting from that system and you're talking about a state that is making policies making statements to make people wait, leave wait. their states let me tell Bro, you about this. You have no moral right to live in the Wait, United wait, wait, wait. But Let me tell you about this. State. Let me tell you about this state where I am now. My daughter was born in this state. She cannot become governor. This state is what? Indianapolis. She cannot become governor. She's born in this state. She's born in Indianapolis. Yes, and she cannot state. become governor of Indianapolis. Yes, Indiana. She cannot become governor in Indiana. Why? Because she they, this that is the policy. They, she can become she can become a um, representative, she can become those, but they will never give you. They play their card. Do you see, they can allow you to take take their, the, the um, president. Why but can't she be governor of Indianapolis? Those governor, you have to be indigent here. You have to be indigent. indigent. What, yes. sir, sir, there is no... In, bro, which America do they live? I sure you live in America. Forget about saying red in the... Forget about red in the... I'm telling you, there is no indigenous of the United States of America. Everybody in America is a foreign, is a visitor. Why would you say that? For your for your own story. I don't understand. They have their indigenous. I live here in Canada. They have their indigenous. Madam, 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 this guy is telling you. Madam, what this guy is telling you is a lie. Hold on, that is a question. That is please ask a question. Hold on. He has that can you for your own story. Bro, is this Now, hold on, everybody. Hold on, hold on. I, I allow this to go on so that I get their point. We came yeah. here for a topic. And the talk is marry from other tribes. Parents okay. should eat their children. Can we break back? Say, yeah, that's what I want to say. I wanted to say that if you have the question that your son have a missed um, race, like the mom is Igbo, you are Yoruba, and all the rest. The truth is, we have to teach our children our local dialect. I live here in Canada. My prime minister here he speaks both French and English because we have two speaking language here. He can't say a word in English without saying it in English. That's yeah. the fact. In French, yeah. If you want to go into governance, it's something, I have a friend here. He calls himself Mr. President. He speaks the three languages in Nigeria fluently because he told me, 
as a child, he asked his brother that, oh, he, one, one time he's, he's planning to become a president in Nigeria. And the brother told him, oh, if you want to be president, you have to speak all this language in Nigeria. And he speaks the three languages fluently. So these are things that, it's not something you just sleep in a day and you wake up, you want to be this, you want to be that. You have to have all the qualities. Developed countries, these are things that matter to them. So did Buba, we need to teach our children did Buba our Mara local language. Yoruba? Pardon? He's a military person now. Did he speak Yoruba? He's a military person now. <laughs> but did he, he did he do did he, he, did he, he do well? Something in Nigeria that is not right. Did he want to go well? abroad. We did Buba Mara do telling well? people abroad is good, is good, is this and that. Please, please. The truth of the matter is these are things that are obtainable yes. over there. Yes, ma'am. I, I understand. But did, did Buba Mara do well as military administrator of Lagos State? Yes, he did. So does him speaking Yoruba have anything to do with him administering over the, uh, uh, over the affairs of the state of Lagos? Come on, guys. Is a military... Come on, guys. Wait, wait, wait. This? Wait, wait, my friend. The difference between the military and the civilian. Schwarzenegger was not born in America. Arnold Schwarzenegger was not even born in America. No, no, I'm talking about my state. I'm talking about my Maybe, state. okay, are you oh. saying that that's an Indiana okay. law? It's not a law, but the policy play. It's not a law, but the policy play here. It's not a law. I'm not saying it's a law. They will play the same way they play for, um, is it GRV or what's it called? They will play the same policy, the same card they play. From, so, so, how do they know those that are from Indiana? They will tell you now from Greenville, they will... They will they will mention that place. The policy play. The policy play. You can become um, uh, okay. uh, original topic. Anyway, my brother, is what I thank you so much. Let's try to get the topic back to the original topic. So, Andy, take care. Uh, my sister, would you allow your child? From Definitely, from yes. Yes, I can. Why not? Yeah. Is there any particular tribe you would not want your children? Not at all. Is, that will be on my child wish. If awesome. my child so wish, uh, wish anything, I'm in support. Totally. So far, there is love and peace. That's what matters. Doesn't mean what language or what culture or what but no, but you know there's a tribe in, in, in not nigeria where your daughter will have to marry a virgin and on the wedding nights the guy will have to sleep with her if blood does not come out they won't marry what has that has to do with culture we're talking about now if that's the culture and she fits in there so be it and if she doesn't fit in there then she doesn't fit in there that's not in my capacity to control, right? Okay, okay, that's yeah. good. Okay, hello, everybody. Good morning. Hello, Thank you, sir. Hello, Daddy Freeze. I was interested in this topic because of the intertribal marriage thing we're talking about. I'm Yoruba. I'm from Ocean State. I'm married to an Anambra man. What? Yes. Ooh. Strange because you won't accept to because no, John no, here will no, accept no, no, to no, no, no. and I've been married for 12 years. No. Yes, now, we are waiting for his son to come and want to be a governor of Anambra State. That is that is what I want to point out. His name will call him, we'll call him Femi. Now, that is what I want to point out here to John because I noticed that a lot of people are beginning to skin the Goshans or skin the Yorubas. But even me getting married, I know the tribalism I faced from Igbos because I was true. Yeah, they will not accept you. That is the truth. Let's say the truth here. We don't want the same for our children, which is why I came on this live. I, I understand you, Daddy Freeze. But you see, the tribalism is actually everywhere. I love the fact that the priest says something. Everybody has sentiments for his own, and I, I agree. But you see, tribalism, Yorubas have their own, Igbos have their own, the Aousas have their own. Now, what that lady said, I, I somehow agree with her because they began to screenshot old tweets 
from uh, Dajjal V. Had. I don't know if you saw it. I saw it on blogs, but I never screenshotted anybody because I was not too interested. That was the divide and rule game they used for him. That was the propaganda they used for GRV. Like, oh, this guy is actually against his own tribe. So, and you know this thing, there's something they've always sold out to the Yorubas, like, um, it goes at territorial. That if it's true or false, they've used this. I, okay, oh, they, they, so they played this. So they, they played this thing very well Madam, during the. Can I ask, you, can I ask a question? Please, please go ahead. Is then the Yoruba land under the rulership of an Eze? No. I'm talking, oh. Okay, I think we say we don't want no. to talk about politics here. Yeah. It is not politics. This I'm talking. The, I said rulership. Rulership. When I talk about rulership, I'm talking about no. traditional rulership. No. Okay. No. Definitely no. But there is the Yoruba land, Pa Elorin. Mm. Under the rulership of the Fulani Empire, the enemy of the Lauren. Okay. And you people drop those people, the Fulani people, and you're saying that evils that only come to your soil to do business. No, just that's business. Not what, that's not what I... No, you said you said they said they, I said they, they, is this person. Yes, yes, yes. I, and that is I, and that's what I want to clear. Someone cannot be territorial if he doesn't come to you in a in a conquest. I'm not talking not just the Yorubas. It's a mind. It's it's not even if you go to the South South, they have that mentality because I stayed in the South South before. Yes, they have that mentality that the Igbos are territorial. If you go to River, I, I think I've heard you say you stay in Port Harcourt. There's that same. The Equerries have this sentiment towards the Igbos. But but yes yes that and, and that is what I want to clear. The Igbos are not set territorial. The Igbos only come to your land to buy your properties to do business. That's all them. That's all the interest. When you say people no, are territorial, so when you say people are is when you say people are ter territorial, what? people that what? are territorial come in form of conquests, just what? like Mr. Davodia, Davodio did in the north what? and extended to Lorim. What played out to for GRV was just the old tweets. That a lot of people used against him. Now, I love what uh, the lady said when she talked. Truly, truly, Yorubas are very accommodating. I lived in, when I was, I grew up in Lagos, yeah, I lived amongst so many tribes. So, I, in, fact, in fact, when we talk about it, even in the South South, there's tribalism. Every part of Nigeria has its own form of tribalism. So, coming to skin a particular tribe that, oh, this particular tribe is this, 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 because of just election, right? It was just election, this thing played out so well. I know he was have been in Lagos for over 20 years. They've never experienced this thing before. But because Madam, they, Madam, Madam, then you're lying. You're lying now. You're lying. Or because they want Madam, to Madam, to Madam, 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 wait. I, I don't I don't like it. Was it was it this pronounced? Okay, listen. Eight years ago. Eight years ago. Eight years ago. Madam, eight years ago. Madam, Madam, let me say something. How many years ago do you see in the how many you do you see? Madam, excuse. I'm eight years ago, the ob the Madam, eight years ago, the Oba of Lagos said that Igbos will be thrown into the lagoon. I am saying it with my, my face. So, that Igbos will be thrown I'm into the lagoon. I'm telling you that I've also faced, I'm telling you that I've also faced Mad tribalism Madam, in the East. Madam, Madam, I've also Madam, faced it in the Madam, East. Madam, so tell me any family. Madam, skin, Madam, 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 tell me some Madam, 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 not Madam, even all because Madam, I'm not. Madam, but the fact Madam, that I'm married, to Madam, I put it to you. Sir, you I put it for long. I put Let me just you. make my point. That you've not faced any tribalism in the East. Sorry, you've sorry, say that again. Tribalism in the East. Sorry, say that again. You know what tribalism is? No, 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 no. Don't say that. Don't you know say what that. tribalism is? Don't say that. Okay, on. Oh, your experience, Madam. Let's get married. First of mom in law was. In fact, you know that even in the East. An, for an Anambra man to marry Imo State safe is like a taboo. So That's not tribalism. That's what it's preference. That's not tribalism. Preference. It's preference. preference. Yes. Oh, so when when that if you say sentiment, you said no, it's tribalism. That's not tribalism. It's now preference. when I was to get married, when I was to get married, my mother-in-law actually said no. Over, you know now. I don't Over want to use that. So that is that is one That's of the things I face. My own tribalism. Mother, Wait now, my husband's younger brother did the same thing. The only person that was not like that is his elder brother that was already living in Lagos. He was working in Lagos. So yeah, he, he, Lagos was good to him. So he didn't see anything in that light. And it was, it was, if not, you have to stand your ground to get married. If not, they would not have allowed you. Now, it's, not, it's just that playing with, being smart is not how you now handle, okay, this will never like you. I didn't now go ahead to act like, oh, because you didn't like me, I would show you, show you, shake it. 
That's why I have peace within them. I don't know that's if you understand. But the, what, what are you telling that's me? That's not tribalism. It's what? Then when they say don't get married. Let, let me tell you what tribalism say, is. Uh -uh, wait, 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 wait. Let me even now. Even in you in, in Anambra land, they'll say, oh, so you didn't even not even in a way, like you didn't go to into your own kindred. Hey, oh, it was it's not tribalism. Oh, bad, bad people. It's what, Oga? Madam, I want to tell you what tribalism is. Hmm? Only wanting your own is tribalism. No. Is no. what? I, I don't I don't expect a Yoruba person to want to marry an Igbo person. Now, presently, now, no, I don't want it. You mean, I, I don't expect it. I don't expect that's not, I don't I don't call it that's not tribalism. Tribalism is when you when you attack a certain group of people. Just be, no, it's not just because attack. they madam, let me land. Let me land. When you attack a certain group of group of people just because they belong to that certain group, choosing not to marry is a preference. Choosing oh, not no, to I, marry someone I, is I, a preference. I, I, all right. Good morning, everybody. No, you can disagree for all you care, for all I care, but choosing not to marry is a preference. Okay. Okay. We are, let me say something. Yeah, and let, and let, let, let me land, let me land, madam. The same way there are Igbos who don't want their children to marry Yorubas. Huh? Is is that, you are, that is not tribalism. Please, Everybody don't, has tribalism. People should not marry us. Won't marry people. People. John, Please. John, Everybody I have to, I have to come in. Men. John, John, I have to come in. When you stop, as a parent, when you stop your kids from marrying a certain tribe, that's tribalism. Preference is when you say, don't marry Ada. Ada is fair. We yes. need to marry a dark girl. Then you can say it's preference. Still, it's still preference. No, no, no. come on. Come on. No. Everybody has one species. And I think it's tribal preference. Why are you thinking him? It's tribal. It's, it's, tribal, it's tribal preference. It's just English that we are speaking. It's, it's just English that we are speaking. It's tribal preference. You're just saying it's preference. No, John. All right. Okay. okay. Let, me, let me ask you guys a question. No, let me settle this now with one word. Which one of them is a crime under the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria? Inciting people to maim, destroy businesses owned by a, certain, a particular group of people or refusing to marry from a certain tribe. Which is a crime I, under the constitution I, I, of the Federal Republic of Nigeria? I'm, I'm never going to support. Yes, they bought in. Please, talk. which one is a crime under the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria? There are some the first one, things that are crime. not that are not documented legally, but Thank morally you. they are wrong. No, no, no. no. I, 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 morally I, I, they are wrong. No, no, no. Moral. Yeah. I'm not talking about morals here. I'm talking about the constitution of Nigeria. Oh, should we go no, by the yes, constitution? By the constitution. constitution. There are things that. We do this is a that. crime. They don't but have constitutional backing, but well, we just don't the, do that. Well, by the constitution, what is it? The, what is which one is a crime? Inciting violence is that's a crime. That's tribalism. Definitely, that's, that's not crime. I think you're playing <laughs> sentiments here. Yeah, I want to. You are. Something. Let's that's your ego. I cannot marry your robot. There's not many robot ladies going to beat you or kill you. You just don't like them. Yeah. No, I, I, no, 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 no. Why wouldn't I like them? I do business. I have, I have business partners who are here, but I have colleagues who are here. You don't like them enough to the marry. The reason why I don't like them to marry is because I don't want my grandchildren to face what GRV faced. So why you would, as a parent? Why should I want my grandchildren to go through that? You said your parents, parents are like, or you are like your parents. So what, 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 uh, what are your parents' reasons? Because madam, GRV my, just my, happened my, recently. Madam, madam, I wonder if your dad was not alive during the Civil War. My, mine was alive during the Civil War. Well, my dad was. So, I don't understand why he so, wouldn't see the reason. Oh, all of a sudden, you're now trying to back. No, no, you're being tribalistic. Oh, listen, listen. I have no, listen. The, other case, the mom is from Igbo, uh, from Igbo land now. How come he still won election there? Huh? Because if you say Yoruba is a tribal, they only played this thing out in Lagos State. It was in Lagos State this thing was played. And it's a pure divide and rule game. Uh, boy, boy, it boy, was, walk. It was, walk. For them now, but in Osho State, the current governor there now, his mom is from, is from Igbo land. So when uh, you say Yoruba is a tribal, no, I, tribal how come you know, you I never said Yoruba is a tribal, though. God forbid, me. How let's say Yoruba is a tribal? No, yeah, that is not, it's not a Yoruba man. But see, I never said you now as a tribal. I just that. said my son would not marry you. Yeah, that's simple. Like, John, you now. cannot say this now that you're just stopping this because uh, of GRV. GRV just happened recently. From yes. the way you sound, this has been your madam, thought for a very long time. Madam, madam, let me tell you something. My elder sister is married to an Urubu man. I'm from Anambra. You see that Anambra that you feel that we don't marry outside. My elder sister is married to an Urubu man. My younger sister is married to a Hausa man. My elder brother is married to a brief my other elder brother is married to a zimbabwean i am from anambra my father is a core anambra my father and my mother are from anambra okay. so it has never been a nurse i have been an advocate for one united strong nigeria if you call 
Put Nandikano's name around me, I'll fight you. If you call yeah. Nandikano's name around me, I'll fight you. Everybody that knows me knows me like that. But after what played out in Lagos, in this past election, a seed of discord had been sown, and I'm helping water it. Is it that seed that's been sown in me, and I'm helping to water it? And you think this is the right way to go about it? Instead yes. of now preaching intertribal marriage, so that well, we I'm not preaching. I'm not. I said me, me, me. No, me. I did not say you should not. I said me, my own, my own son. Come, I, I, in fact, my son is seven. I've already told him. See. I, I, please, I don't want to hear that. If, I know I, that she has been my friend since primary school. No, 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 I don't want to hear that. You can't choose for your son. Your parents. What? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> my son. I, you you're telling wife, me what to do with son. my son. Madam, please, can you borrow me two million? Let me pay his school fees since I can't choose for him. Since I'm here in the reserve. Hey, they didn't choose for you. <laughs> you are married to them. Best for you, so I'm just let me tell you something. The day my son, the day my dad met the, my ex wife, he was concerned about her glasses that she wears glasses. So, you want to continue the same thing? No, since it is possible, let's continue that, that, that route. Wrong, it's wrong because you honestly, you cannot. So, if your daughter tells you now that she wants to marry a or even a two man, if you are saying you what about a two? Is better now. My sister is married so to an Yoruba man like now. Edo, Edo has never told us to leave Benin. There are Igbo people in Benin also now. Are there no, Igbo people in Benin? I want to go to the topic so Ada can contribute. Ada has not thought. Can you, what do you, what message do you have for your unborn Honestly. children regarding marriage and honestly race. i think i'm going uh, to sorry, be I'm... like my parents especially my dad my dad really doesn't have a problem with whoever you're married to all my dad tells me is make sure you marry somebody that both of you will not come back to my house and ask me for salt when you leave this house like he has been sounding that so you have to be responsible and get married to a responsible man anywhere you choose to marry from I got that's, to that's that. him being financial tribalistic no he's not <laughs> No, if he was, if he was, he would not. No, Mr. Johnny, you have to listen to me. If he was, he would not want me to be responsible. He would probably want me to sit at home after school and then get a man. But my dad is the type that he wants me to have my own money. Yes. He said, be responsible and then get yourself a responsible man, not just get, getting myself a responsible man. So I give him that full respect. Okay not being tribalistic awesome. and actually so not awesome. and then my mom used to be that way my mom used to say oh get yourself somebody from the village you're my only daughter it would be very cool for you to be close to the house so i can have access to you whenever however and i was like mom it really doesn't make sense i can get married to somebody from this village and then we are based outside the country if you don't have access to see us you still don't have because we are outside but right now after my past relationship it was horrible that trees you away my mom personally called me she said, oh, more even the Dausa man you bring home. No, Wahala. I am not doing that whole, you must marry from the village again. Anywhere you see somebody that loves and respects you, that's fine. And I have parents like that. You expect me to not bring children and tell them you must not marry from this tribe or that tribe. Wherever you find love and respect and peace of mind, that's fine. Yeah. See, so I think somebody come and saying that Shane to knew whose wife is even equal. So it was just in this election, they, they used it well in this election, not like that being okay. uh, something that... Uh, Madam, uh, have you got, have you had, do you, are you on Twitter? Yes, I am. Election is, I'm, I'm, oh, election is over and it's still spreading. It's still spreading because probably there's a, you see, this, I feel like the same way Labour Party had people, you know, pushing. They too had people pushing some kind of narrative. I, no, just, I don't understand I, why when you say Labour Party. I'm, I'm obedient. Party. I'm obedient. I, 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 but my point is attacking a particular tribe. May I have my own experience? Madam, have you seen have you seen me in any way say Anambra Igbo in Anambra should go and start killing you? So I just say that. I never said that. You say you are not going to. Marry. Going, so, 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 if I said I'm not going to marry, how does that correlate with someone who said people should go and kill, maim, destroy, and chase? Uh, the title of it is that children uh, 
So you still What's saying up? that your child cannot this, your child cannot that. So how do we solve the problem? In my own case now, I've been able to marry to anywhere my children say they want to marry for. I don't have any issues with that. Because already I mean it's a cyber marriage. I see it. So it's not a problem for me. But picking on Lagosians, Lagos did this, Lagos did that. I'm not in support of the uh, political violence and all that. But I'm not I've had experiences. Even in River State, in River State, the, the tribalism is also high there. You know what I'm saying? It's high. It's high. So my point is, every area in Nigeria has their form of tribalism one way or the other. It's not just the Europe. Well, there's there. no tribalism in the River State. So. Okay. Tra- I live in River State. So I, I, okay, trying to get office now. <laughs> it, it, does, it, doesn't, it doesn't affect why, me. Why, why was, you know, let me not mention the inside. Why was there, would this? Thank you so much. Um, I want to bring just one more person so we can round off. Uh, Cynthia says she has something to say. So let me bring Cynthia and then we round off. Thank you so much, guys, for your contribution. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Let me just make my own small contribution and just go away. On the topic, that the freeze. I will start with my father. My father lived in Lagos during before the war, and he was working in Shell. When the war came, because he his foster parents are from Ijebodi, he was raised in Ijebodi. And when the war came, he told his foster parents he wanted to go back home and find his mom and reconnect with his family. They said, no, he should come back to Ijebu day after the war so he can go back to Lagos and continue with his work. He said, no, he needs to go and find out his real parents. And he came down to the East to find his real parents. After he came back, that's when the war ended, he went back to Lagos. By the time he got back to Lagos, his property, his house was taken over by the Yorubas. And he went back to his foster parents in Ijebu day and they told him, I will warn you. We told you not to go back, this one, that one, this one, that one. He said, okay, since it's like that now, let him Kukuma go back to the East and go and start his life all over again. And he went back to Inuba and he started his life. So growing up, my father, unfortunately, had only girls, seven girls. And one thing he mentioned to us was he stood his ground. None of his daughters were going to marry a Yoruba man. He told us categorically, go, make, go meet people, but you see, don't bring a Yoruba man to my house and don't bring an Umbise man to my house. You can marry from any other part of the world. But you see Yoruba, you see Mbise, don't bring to my house. And with this thing that happened now, I see reason why my father stood his ground. And I'm standing my grounds. My children will not marry Yoruba. Sorry to say that. I stand my grounds. My kids will not marry Yoruba. Call me tribalistic. Call me tribal bigot. Call me anything. My kids will not marry Yoruba. Simple. It's a the truth is that the people wow. playing this card need to know and understand what the, 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 the what the what 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 the cards they are playing causes. If this video, my kids will not marry Yoruba. Now I know better why my father. My father speaks Yoruba fluently. In fact, you think he's a Yoruba man. He speaks Yoruba. He was raised in the forest of Ijebode. He lived in Lagos all his life. When the war ended, he went back. They've already taken over his property, took over his house and everything. He came back to the east empty-handed. He went back to Inugu and started life all over again. But don't you think you, because of what your father went through 50 years ago, don't you think you are taking decisions for your children of the future over a past that should have been... That part that shouldn't that have part, happened. That past, yes, that past there was a place itself every four years. I'm trying to reflect that this place itself every four years now, now is just like a reminder of telling me, Look, your father was always wrong all this while, and I am standing my ground. I'm telling you now, my kids will not marry you, but it's as simple as that. Let them, I'm, I'm from Imo, but, but, I'm from Imo, Adam. my husband is from Abia, so my kids will not marry you, but I'm telling you that it's as simple as. Your child, I would say no, and I will stand my ground. That, that is that going to tell you whatever to go. you want to ask do, but I will stand. Yes, ask me I, that. I want you to ask me that question. We're seven girls, and seven by the grace of God, we're almost all, we're all married. So, we all listen to our father. 
I oh. didn't prepare can be far. When you talk to me, you say you're from Mumbi, say I will tell you, look, let's let the relationship, the relationship is dead on arrival. Let's not <laughs> when you talk to me, say you're a Yoruba boy, I'll say the relationship is already dead on arrival. Let's not go there. <laughs> So I, I I obeyed my parents. So I don't see the reason why my kids will not be in the world, madam. Your children are going to need less of you. So instead of making yourself an enemy, so that they will not invite that you to their house, you are old. my children are not going to be... need less of me because as they are growing, I am growing. I'm not going to ever stop growing. Exactly. There's no way they will need less of me. Do you understand? And let me tell you something. When people say you can't, you don't have a say for your children. Any child that disobeys me, I will strip him of all his inheritance. Everything. So that is, that's Without my own. Words. I don't want to go into details of what happened during this election. But that, sure. what things are played out. But I am standing my grounds and I'm telling you. And strip him of all in his, in yes. all his inheritance. I will put it up. But and let what they say is their business. So that's I'm saying what I will do. Some kids don't care about inheritance, so that's something. Madam, do. Someone madam, like that madam, don't madam, want to leave madam, anything for the children. Madam, so madam, what would you do? Madam, madam, right now, I have at mm -hmm. least five houses in Nigeria. But you see my father's land in the village, if you take it, me and you will die there. Because that's my inheritance. Some kids really don't that care. That's their business. Exactly. What's if you don't have one of sort that tells you, you will go oh, now and I don't have care my own go. house. You will go and don't care. That's your eyes in my business. Exactly. So why that, you it's not a problem. It. Madam, it's not a problem. What will make me happy is if I strip him of his inheritance. He will go and go and do whatever he wants to do. It's not my business. I really yeah, you don't have care. Five. You have five and he ends up having ten. Have. He will have ten now. It's in my All business. Right. All right. As far as we go, thank you so much um please uh john and jumoke and ada and cynthia they're just airing their views let this not cascade into some sort of uh tribal quarrel we're all sharing our parts and at the end of the day i believe that we would become one as nigerians and hopefully four years from now john will change his mind about his son but for Thank now you. Thank, you, Adam, thank, thank you, John. Thank you so much. Everybody. Bye. Bye. Same time tomorrow.